Hey YouTube, it's your girl Sheila J and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you can be notified every single time your truly uploads a new video. If you are not new here, welcome back. But you always come back because I'm everyone's favorite everything. Your favorite YouTuber and everything I touch always turns to gold. are doing another no contact video i am the queen of preaching on no contact i think no content is perfect especially when you are recreating an sp and if you haven't watched my no contact video i'm gonna link it up here of why i think no contact is perfect for when you're recreating an sp but in today's video in particular this is basically a video on if your sp will forget you because I know people tend to think that their SP is going to forget them while they are manifesting them and they think that they can't go no contact. And I see so many people struggling with no contact and thinking that their SPs are going to forget them. And they think that they don't have to work on self-concept. And if they work on self-concept, their SP will forget them or whatever. But like they are in panic mode for some reason while they're in no contact. And I personally think that no contact is great especially when you are recreating them and it is great for you because it gives you a chance to de-escalate the situation and take your mind off of the situation so i don't know why all of some of you complain about that and in all honesty and i have notes for this video because that's how passionate i am about no contact i have notes so sit down grab a coffee grab some orange juice grab water grab your choice of wine red or white and be prepared to take some notes because I didn't come to play with this video today because I'm tired of seeing some of you guys complain about no contact. I want you guys to change your positioning of how you think and your perspective on how you think no contact works and if you feel like I'm about to change your whole life with this video. This one video is about to change most of y'all lives so yeah. Uh, I just want to be the first thing I don't want to say that it's completely natural for you to feel like they might forget you it's natural but no contact actually does the complete opposite of what you think that it does and in my experience it actually brings them closer to you because every one of the my s my sps that i've had or my exes that i've had i've been in no contact with them and each and every single one of them has came back majority of them there are a few that didn't but i'm not stressing about it you can watch my story time video on how I manifested every single one of them back. Link it up there. And the only, and I think the only issue that I ever had in this process was that, and the reason why I could never keep them was because I never actually worked on my self concept. And while I might have gotten them back, I never got to the root of my issues that made me lose them in the first place. So until my recent SP came along, my recent SP is the one who forced me to work on my root issues. He's the one who's been actually getting me to my root issues. And I've been working on those root issues. And I'm proud of myself for working on those root issues. But in conjunction with that, I'm not going to sit here saying that I don't think that no contact is bad. No contact is a blessing. It's just straight up blessing. And I'm like, I need to do these no contact videos because I really want you guys to see that you can do this and if you don't genuinely work on yourself you will lose them because i know everyone out here is like oh you can manifest your sp back in like three weeks or three days and blah 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 and all this extra stuff you can't you can manifest them back and however many times you say that you are going to manifest them back but if you don't genuinely work on your self-concept you're gonna keep finding yourself in a really shitty cycle like you're gonna manifest them back and then lose them manifest them back and then lose them manifest them back and then lose them so you have to work on yourself in this no contact during this no contact there's no if ands or buts you have to work on yourself i don't care what anybody else says you have to work on yourself because you don't and don't work on yourself with the idea of getting just getting them back either 
and you can make no contact be very very successful and this is and no way this does not mean that you are messing with the middle i've been told a couple of times that by going straight no contact that i'm messing with the middle of my manifestations but i want to tell you that that's the opposite if you have to go no contact it's a great thing for you because that means you are no longer going to be triggered by the things that are happening in your 3d and you allow the 3d to, 3D to unfold the way that you want it to unfold because that means that by being no, no contact you are not being triggered by things in your 3d which means you get to be stable in yourself and your self-concept and allow for your manifestation to come to you versus you going to it does that make sense i hope that makes sense to you guys because that's very i'm very big on that when you allow your manifestation to come to you you are not chasing it but when you are constantly putting yourself in a situation that require that it makes you end up being triggered you're not gonna see results faster when you're being triggered so if you're constantly being triggered how do you expect to get what you want when you're constantly being triggered by things so if you don't want to be triggered take yourself out of the situation remove yourself from the situation and find things that make you happy and i'm telling you a person will come back they will come running back i'm telling you that for a fact they will come back because it's a happen so you are not messing with the middle when you do this and this is actually psychologically proven to be effective and actually work and being in no contact also means that this gives your sp a chance to see what life is without you in it which means he gets to see they get to see how you how they are without you in it without you constantly being in their face so even if you have a good reason and a birthday like if they have a birthday whatever the case may be and you want to text them even if you have that good reason i highly suggest you resist that urge to message them because the whole reason why you are going no contact with them is for you to change their it's for them to change their opinion of you but for you to change the opinion of and the for you to change the image that sp has of you in their head in an order to do even do that in the first place you have to be willing to change your old ways you have to be willing to change because if you don't change how do you expect them to change if you don't change how do you expect them to reflect back to you with the change that you wish to see when you're not even giving them the chance or the space to change? Because while you are in no contact, you can be affirming your self-concept. You can be working on yourself, doing things that you love, picking up new hobbies, doing new things, doing things that are important to you, working on your self-concept, listening, listening to affirmation tracks, listening to subliminals. And here and there, you can throw in some SP affirmations. Like, they love me, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's no excuse. So, and if you're not willing to take this break and to work on yourself, then how do you expect SP to turn around and see you differently when you're not even willing to do something different in the first place? Because that's, that's counterintuitive. You want them back, but yet you don't want to do the work. So if you want them back, if you don't want them back, then I suggest you don't even do the work. Don't even bother with it because that doesn't even make sense. If you want them back, like you say that you do, I would suggest you go no contact and literally do the opposite of what you've been doing because whatever you've been doing ain't working. It's not working for you. Didn't work for me. Didn't. It's not going to work for you. Everything that I'm talking about is everything that I've been doing. So I don't know what everybody else has been telling you. This is not going to mess up your manifestation. This is not going to hurt your manifestation. This is going to help your manifestation. So let me see, where was I? And I don't mean change. And when I say change, and here's another thing, I don't mean change. And then once you get them back, you revert back to your old ways and your old habits and your old things that you do, did, and all the things that you did in the first time that made you lose them the first time, first time around. I don't mean that change. I mean, do the work and work on your self concept. That is where working on yourself actually is very, very important during this process. Because while you are working on yourself, eventually when you break the no contact with them they will reflect to you back your new self-concept once you break that so that's what i mean and a part of this no contact also means that you have to give them the chance to miss you 
and see you differently. That means that while you're in no contact, you have to do things that you love and feel good to you. And I know this is a new way of thinking about self-concept, but I'm talking about no contact from this perspective because I do see a lot of people struggle with no contact. And they panic because they don't know how to handle it and are in a mental a mentality of being a victim. And I truly think that being in no contact is a blessing, especially because it's a perfect chance for you to revise and recreate yourself and your SP. For them to see you in a new way, you will have to be willing to sacrifice some contact for the time being. By doing no contact completely, even if SP is the one trying to reach out to you, you make them feel very much lonely. This no contact means that they miss you faster. And by doing this, SP starts to think of you more. And all of the issues that you guys had will eventually fade away and be replaced by all of the good memories that you have ha you guys had, literally. And if you do this the correct way, your SP will likely be more likely to respond to your attempts to want to get back together. If you feel like SP will forget about you and move on, then you are literally were focused on the wrong way of thinking and you are operating from a place of fear, lack, and scarcity. And you cannot worry about whether or not he will move on because if you do, you aren't focusing on yourself and you don't have confidence and you need to continue to work on your confidence. And if you're focused on how long it's going to take and the time, you're also focused on the wrong thing because we all know time is an illusion. And your SP will not forget you that easy because of the history that is there in the first place. Just like it's not easy for us to move on, if it's a male, they're not going to forget that very, very easy. It's not easy for that for that to happen. They won't move on that quickly and it will not be easy for them to move on because they're going to constantly be thinking about you in the back of their head, especially if you're doing this the right way and you're doing your affirmations and you're working on your self-concept. And if you're affirming that they are always thinking about you, so then of course they're naturally gonna always be thinking about you in the first place. So um, the opposite always happens and I know this because I've done it. This is what I've seen works for me. And if it works for me, it's also gonna work for you too. And uh, here are some reasons for why they will not forget you. It'll change the mental image that your SP has of you as long as you continue to work on your self-concept. Consider this like revision. I will get to into revision in a whole other video for another day, but I'm still trying to understand revision, so you're probably not going to get a full-on video of that anytime soon because I'm still trying to work on it and understand it a little better before I do a video on it. Um, two, this will reset the issues that you've had with your SP and... It will give them a chance to calm his mind, but also give your ch you a chance to calm your mind as well. But this is very crucial and important, especially if your SP has some anger root issues that they need to work on. This also gives them, this gives them more space to figure out what they actually want and be independent of you. And you get to be independent of them because remember, you guys are two holes, two individual people. So just remember that. And this also... And number four is that you're their comfort zone. You're literally their comfort zone. So how could they forget you when you are their comfort zone? They won't forget you because you are where they feel safe and comfortable. You are their home. So they will never forget you because you are their comfort zone. So those are my notes. I'm going to have a blog post for you guys at some point when I do post this. I will have a blog post, but... I'm going to put this in a blog post. I'm going to link it in the description box below. So at some point, be prepared to have a full-on blog post. That was This was a lot of information. Like I said, I had to have notes because I didn't want to stray off topic because I felt like if I didn't have the notes, I would stray off topic. So that is why I did that. Those notes, I will turn that into a full throttle blog post for you guys and with more information and give you more input and feedback on why I think no contact is great and they why I feel like they won't forget you. But with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.